Hey, what up everyone? This is Mondo all day back with another video. In this video, I'll be doing a commentary for Cosmetron for Silver Surfer as well as go over the build guys shortly after. So let's get right into it. First thing with these enemies with Silver Surfer is activate your powers here, which is A, S, D, F, and G. G, you want to place it with a lot of enemies and then do it again. A, S, F right here. Easy. Now with these X enemies, you want to use signature, but with Silver Surfer's um, signature, it resets all the cooldowns. So I would say re recommend doing activating your cooldown powers and then signature. That way you can do your power cooldowns again. Just like so. Move. With him, you have to keep moving, so keep that in mind. A S F here. Move G. Place it right here. A S D F. So forth. It's so fairly simple. I'm gonna wait a little bit so I can activate the, my signature. I want to get more enemies here. Right here. F. Signature right here. Then do your powers again. And the key thing is utilizing his powers to your advantage, and it's all about timing because his signature brings all enemies towards you so you want to activate your signature once you use your cooldown powers and then place signature with a lot of enemies that way you can activate your powers all within that particular area and you, you get a full effect of the of damage right here feels like so move move and with him you have to move he's a bit weak so keep that in mind weak in a sense is defense so you have to kind of move with them so Keep that in mind, but other than that, he's pretty good. He's pretty, I like him. He's fun to play with. So it's easy, A, S, D. D power is just to regenerate health, because as I mentioned, he's a bit weak. So you want to be regenerating um, your health. That's why I have that on here. And one of the talents, true, is that um, when you activate his D power, um, it automatically activates another power, which generates your, your power Cosmo. Cosmic, I think is what it's called, which essentially what it is, is your um, spirit, so. So you activate the health regen, which is my D power, and then like three seconds later, it activates um, the other power, which regenerates your spirit. So, hey, almost done with this character right here. Easy peasy, and just right here. Remember, for a signature, activate your powers, and then signature, um, and then stay within the signature because it gives you a, a buff, a damage buff, for a couple seconds. So we're doing pretty, we're doing pretty good. The key thing is keep moving with him, and you should be easy. Signature, then empowers again. Easy peasy. Uh, just a little update too. I have been playing. Uh, my brother has an extra PS4, so I've been playing Marvel Heroes. Not a whole lot, but uh, I'll be honest. But I've been playing a little bit of the Marvel Heroes Omega for the console version, just to get the feel of it. So I'll be doing my QA Q&A number four this this week, and kind of give you some, my my thoughts on the console version of this game. So I don't want to see too much in this video, so I'll leave it for that Q&A number four video, which will coming this week. But just know that, uh, yeah, I played it. It's, uh, yeah. My powers here. Signature. Easy peasy. So, just like so. So, I mean, Silver Surfer is pretty good. He does pretty good damage. Um, I would just say that if you have decent items better if you have fully not fully geared but if you, have, if you use infinity points and decent items you can do pretty much good damage but for me I'm using the items that aren't that great so that's why I'm a little struggling a little bit but it's okay so it's easy with these enemies A S F there's a lot of pretty, pretty good amount of damage same with G pick any enemies and just activate them same thing right here 
over here activate your powers like like I said and then activate your signature and then your powers again just like so right here drop the world so that I call it All right, perfect G right here if I get these enemies do it again. Signature right in the middle. Do the powers again. Build that. Build that damage. Easy peasy. Boom! Right here. Kill these enemies. It won't take long. Kill these right here. So again, it's all about placing the powers with Silver Surfer, and staying within that area where you activate the powers, and that way you get the buffs and do a lot of damage. Easy, go kill these enemies, it's really simple. One down, and remember, I said it before and I'll say it again. Don't do damage into Red Skull until you hit the three minute mark and kill this, these enemies right here, because if you don't, they will annoy the crap out of you. And I know it was, I know it's because they annoy me when I'm playing. Signature. Uh, there you go. Got it. Now for the ultimate, as I said it before, and I'll say it again, I would recommend doing ultimate after the first sentinel. After you do the first, after the first sentinel, then do the ultimate. I forgot how his ultimate goes. They might have changed that. I'm not too sure. Come on, where are you going? There you go. Kind of missed a uh, missed a temp on that power, but it's okay. Perfect. All right. Why wasn't it moving? There you go. So easy, easy. Sick uh, ultimate right here. I think his ultimate gives you a buff. I'm not too sure. Again, it's been a while since I played with Zola Server. I played him in uh, post and never really played with him since then. He's okay. I like his visuals though, I'll admit that. So we're right here, just activate your powers here. We're gonna move with him because he's a bit weak. There we go. Easy peasy. Like so. Signature. Easy peasy as I usually state. Drop the world on him. Para Cosmic. I wish they had a Galactus Ray. That'd be awesome. Got to fail. There you go. And just like that, fairly easy. So I'll activate this, get some loot, and I'll show you guys my that I use no affinity points or anything. So that's my Silver Surfer. Well, I'll get out the way. There we go. There. No points were used at all. I'll show you guys. All right, and that's my Cosmic Travel Silver Surfer. On to the build guide. All within the sound of my voice, come to me. 
All right, now on to the build guide. So the first thing we're gonna look at are the artifacts. So the first artifact is Iron Legion Armor Sheath. I was doing this for the plus five energy, the Brutal Strike rating increase, health increase, and damage rating to summon powers. Overall, really good artifact for Silver Surfer. Now I know the whole summon powers damage rating increase is kind of irrelevant because he's not a summoner, but everything else is really good. Next is Scroll Energy Rifle Focusing Crystal. I'm using this for the plus two energy, energy damage rating increase, critical hit rating, and recover 3.7 power cosmic when you hit with an energy power. Another good artifact for Silver Surfer, especially that, you know, the power cosmic regeneration because his powers consume a lot of spirit or power cosmic in this case. So having the regeneration when you hit with an energy power is really good. Even though it's a small amount, but hey, anything counts, right? And also, this increases your plus two energy, which is good because his main attributes are energy and speed. So, as I mentioned, another good artifact. Next is the medallion, is ultra medallion. I'm using this for the health increase, energy damage rating increase, critical hit rating to energy attacks increase, plus one energy, deflect rating increase, and you gain 2.1 power cosmic when you hit. Really good on medallion for Silver Surfer. Next is Black Cat's Advanced Grappling Hook. I'm using this for the critical hit rating increase, dodge rating increase, damage rating versus bosses increase, plus two speed, and damage rating to movement powers. Really good artifact for Silver Surfer. I mean, you can convert his build with for more of like a movement based build, but for me, this is what I use right now. And so having this artifact is really good for both like a range energy damage based Silver Surfer or movement slash range energy damage based Silver Surfer. So it was really good. And last but not least is Improved Arc Reactor. I'm using this for the damage to bosses increase, power cosmic increase, and you take 4.3 less damage from energy powers. Really good artifact, especially the power cosmic increase, which increases your power cosmic or spirit tremendously. So that's really, really good. Because as I mentioned, his powers utilize a lot of, lot of power cosmic. So having that, the amount of power cosmic increase is really, really good. For the Forge 800 Defense, and I have the Fire Barrage Blessing, which increases my energy and range powers damage increase. For the Legendary, I'm using Cosmic Control Rod. I'm using this for the energy damage rating increase. I regenerate 500 health on enemy defeat. Critical hit rating to energy attacks increase. Gain 25 Cosmic when you defeat an enemy, and plus 2 energy. For the ring, I'm using Industrial City Ring. I'm using this for the critical damage rating increase, attack speed to energy powers increase, critical hit, critical hit rating to energy attacks. When you hit with an energy power, gain 155 damage rating increase and health increase. Overall, really good ring for Silver Surfer. Now you can use, I believe it's a Sling Ring of Catter. Katara, I think it's, I think that's what it's called. But basically, it's a ring that many people use for movement builds. That's another good one too, but for me, for this particular build, my powers aren't really m movement. I only have two powers that are movement, which is Repulse and Board Dash. Everything else is just ranged melee. So I figured I'd really go this route, but if you did, do decide to go with a Silver Surfer movement based build, then obviously I would use that particular ring. But as I mentioned, for this particular build, I prefer this ring. Next, for slots 1 through 5, I use all his items, except for, I mean, there's all his items, but slots 1, 3, and 5 are his cosmic. Slots 2 and 4 are his uniques. Overall, his items are really, really good as is, to be honest with you, so you can work with his uniques. For the costume, I'm using Silver Surfer Savage costume, which I think is probably the best one, in my opinion. Catalyst, um, I have it to where I increase my 25%. Um, item were fine. Damage rating to melee powers increase. Plus one energy, plus one intelligence. Crafted affixes. Critical damage rating, as always. And visual is when you brutally strike. Display a midtown gold spotlight for three seconds. Overall, not the greatest catalyst, to be honest with you. Hence why the damage was so low. I would definitely use a catalyst that increases either, either plus three speed or increases your main attribute, which is speed and energy. And obviously, they have something with a cosmic, either increase your damage or regenerate health. So this is probably not the ideal catalyst. And for Insignia, I'm using Insignia of Captain Marvel. When you hit with any power, you and your allies gain damage rating increase, energy and physical damage rating increase, and defense rating for 8 seconds, which is good. And this also grants me defense rating and brutal strike rating. For the Flourish, I'm using Punisher, which I think looks cool. 
And for the pet, I only have one thing on here, which is plus three speed. And then for team up, I use better ray bill. All right, now for the powers I use, top to bottom, left to right, cosmic beam array, subspace rift, death from a death from below, board dash, singularity, reconstruct, event horizon, which is signature. Repulse, and that's it. As mentioned, no infinity points were used. For the hero's energy, I used Angela for the area damage and plus one speed increase, Cable for the critical rate rating multiplier, Captain Marvel for the energy damage increase, Doctor Doom for the signature power damage increase, Rogue for the health on hit, one power cosmic on hit, Squirrel Girl for the damage rating increase. Silver Surfer for the plus three speed and damage energy damage increase. Star Lord for the critical critical hit rating multiplier to energy powers increase. Vision for the range power damage and damage to machines increase. And Wolverine for the Buddha Strike and Buddha Damage. Now for the talents and traits. The first row is micro beams, repulse, electromagnetic flux, and board dash. Now find additional micro beams when activated. So essentially, what this does is with this talent, whenever I activate any of these powers here, and this because I'm using repulse, I, it, it now fires additional micro beams. So, for instance, I'm going to show you right now what it looks like without it. And then I'm going to show you with it. I might can get out the way. It's going to shoot additional micro beams. See that? And it's really good because this is a pulse, which is the power I use a lot. It does quite a bit of damage as it is. So having extra micro beams being fired is really, really good. For the second row is Cosmic Gift. Apply Guarded and Strengthen to allies while you are in combat. Buff effect, damage increase um, by 10%. Critical rating multiplier is increased by 10%. Guarded base health increase by 10% and health regeneration 1% of max health per second. So, what this does is with this talent, it increases your damage rating, critical rate rating multiplier, and base health. So, I'll show you what it looks like. So, all you have to do is while you're in combat, you just get those stats increased. So, right now, I'm just gonna go in here, do some damage, and you're gonna see my health increase. See that? And if I get out the way, it's gonna increase my damage rating, decrease my damage rating and health. There you go, see? For the third row is Matter Manipulator. Deconstruct and Reconstruct now share a cooldown. Deconstruct automatically triggers Reconstruct after 30 seconds, and Reconstruct automatically triggers Deconstruct after 3 seconds. So what this does is with this talent, you can use either Reconstruct or Deconstruct, but each one, you essentially are important because they regenerate, it's basically you regenerate either, either health or Power Cosmic first. Now in this case, what I want is I want to regenerate health as much as possible because he's a bit weak. Yes, Power Cosmic is important, but what's the point of having regeneration and Power Cosmic if he can't even survive? So for me, I'd rather have Reconstruct first. So what this talent does is it allows me to activate Reconstruct, regenerate health, and then after that, after three seconds, Deconstruct, which regenerates your Power Cosmic, will be activated automatically. So hence why I prefer Reconstruct. Because it, it does basically two things in once. For the fourth row is Cosmic Radiation. Event Horizon, which is a signature, restores 15% of your maximum power cosmic per second and increases all damage output by 15% as long as you are in the in its area of effect. Event Horizon um, duration is increased by two seconds. So essentially what this does is when you activate your signature, your your power cosmic generation is increased, but also your damage overall is increased by 15%, which is good, but as long as you stay within um, the area effect. So as I mentioned in my cosmic trial, when you activate your signature, make sure you stay, we stay within an area, that way you can take advantage of this talent, which increases your, re your regeneration of power cosmic and your damage increased output by 15%. So I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm going to activate the signature right now, and you can kind of see the area effect. What the hell? It should be, there you go. I don't know why it didn't show. 
Let's quit glitching out, okay? Kind of awkward, but uh, you get the point. I don't know why it didn't show. But uh, yeah, you get the point. Hence why I said to in the Cosmic Trial video, or portion, I should say, is that with Silver Surfer, you have to kind of place your powers. You just can't activate them wherever. You have to place them according, like, according to the area or the terrain. So I'm going to activate the signature one more time. Hopefully it works. There you go, see? So if you stay within this area, your damage output is increased by 15% as well as your power cosmic regeneration is increased. And for the fifth row is flow with cosmos. Reduce the cooldown of board sweep and death from below by one second when you hit with the moving power. So I like this talent because I, I can... Well, the crew... The... What do we call it? The... The cooldown of death from below is reduced by one second when you hit with the moving power, which I do have two moving powers, which is repulse and board dash. So with this talent, I can actually, if I activate repulse and board dash four times, basically, well, I can activate board dash three times and then activate repulse. That's four. That's once. That's four seconds. Cooldown removed from death be from below, which is I really want that because it does a lot of. Uh, quite a bit of damage and so having this power be activated instead of eight second cooldown in four seconds is really really good so hence why i chose uh, chose this talent now if you chose another power so instead of using for instance uh, subspace rift and you decided to use subspace slipstream which is a movement power and if you combine this power with pulse and board dash which are movement powers the cooldown from death from below can be reduced even more because um, subspace slipstream is it doesn't have a cooldown as long as you have you know power cosma or cosmic I should say and yeah that concludes my build guys well actually I'll go over some of the my rotation just to reiterate it it's really really simple silver surfer make sure you place the place your powers and just don't activate them whenever make sure you place them and beat around that area that way you get that buff especially from that signature so the first thing you want to do is activate your a power Quite a bit of damage. S power. S power is good because it, it does vulnerability, which it, you know you take 10% less damage received. Uh, reconstruct regenerates your health, which is good because he's a bit weak. So having the health regeneration is really important. And also with the talent you chose, this one in particular, matter manipulator, it automatically activates deconstruct shortly after. And then repulse activated whenever it can. And the good thing is it slows the movement speed of the enemies by 50%, which is really, really good. And then dip from below is really strong, does a lot of damage. And obviously signature gives you a buff and it does a pretty good amount of damage. And yeah, that's it. That's my build guide for Silver Surfer. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Any requests for certain characters, leave it in the comment section below. As mentioned, my Q&A number four will be uploaded this week, giving you my input in terms of you know, the Marvel Heroes Omega console version. I'll be honest, I haven't fully played it like for many hours. I played it for a couple hours just to get the feel of it and kind of have a comparison. And yeah, if you want to keep up to date with my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Not only does it help the channel grow, but also means a lot to me as well. And yeah, that's it, and now on to the next one. Bye-bye.